Have you ever heard the saying, there's a calm before the storm? Well, according to Kind of Funny's Greg Miller, PlayStation is going to get very stormy this week with some crazy announcements. Plus, Dolby Vision reportedly secretly activated for the PlayStation 5, and Knack 3 could be in development. All this and much, much more in today's edition of the Saltiest PlayStation News Report. Let's get into it. What's up, PlayStation Nation? Welcome to the Saltiest Gaming News Channel, your number one source for PlayStation news and rumors on YouTube. Before we get into today's first story, if you're here for the first time, welcome. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can stay up to date with all things PlayStation and PlayStation 5. In today's first story, lots of people have posed the question, what is the best PlayStation game series of all time? Well, I got the answer for you, and it's Knack. That's right, NAC 1 and NAC 2, the greatest 1-2 combo of all time. Just kidding. For those of you who don't know what NAC is, well, you've lived a sheltered life. What can I tell you? Just kidding. NAC is a platforming video game that was developed by Japan Studio, who doesn't exist anymore. And the first game came out in 2013, and the second one came out in 2017. And guess who was one of the designers for NAC? You guessed it, Mark Cerny, the GOAT himself, the lead engineer and designer for the PlayStation 5. But based off of the reception for NAC 1 and 2, maybe he should stick to designing consoles and not games. But according to recent reports, it looks like a new NAC might be coming sooner than later. Hey, it, it's got to complete the trilogy, right? I mean, the trademark was filed in Japan on the 17th of March, so not too long ago, for NAC. The filing itself doesn't give much away. In fact, it's literally just the word NAC, but it has started speculation that Sony might be gearing up for the third installment to its platformer series. Now, I need to be honest to you guys. I haven't played either of the Knacks, I know. Have I been living under a rock? Probably. I haven't played either of these games, nor do I think I will. And honestly, I think this is just kind of housekeeping, just status quo for some of these companies to maintain trademarks and the like. Just to give you an idea of how poorly Knack 1 did, it was a 54 on Metacritic at 83 critic reviews. I know Metacritic isn't everything, to gamers, but for PlayStation, Metacritic is very important. Look no further than Days Gone, which received a 71 on Metacritic. And guess who's not getting a sequel? That's Days Gone, because if you don't get the critical reception, you're not going to get a sequel. I guess that doesn't hold true for Knack, because it followed up that 54 with a whopping 69 for Knack 2 on Metacritic. So maybe Sony is just hoping that that goes up again with the third installment. But to be honest, I just think it would be a waste of time, money, and resources if they actually did come out with NAC 3. There's just so much other stuff you could focus on for Sony. Now, I don't know how big the studio would be that would work on NAC 3. I don't know if it would take too much resources, but honestly, this is a no-go for me. Hopefully, this is just them keeping the trademark alive, and that's that. But if they come out with NAC 3, let me know if you guys would be excited. Did you guys play NAC 1 and 2? And was it the best game you've ever played in your lifetime? Probably. Let's talk about it. In other news, it looks like Sony likes to put these secret updates in because, as mentioned in the previous video, which I'll link in the description, Sony in its last update for the PlayStation 5 put in a secret update that wasn't mentioned for auto low latency. It looks like Sony might be continuing with this trend with the PlayStation 5 and Dolby Vision because, according to reports, it was reportedly activated for Bravia TVs by Sony. Sony has reportedly enabled Dolby will be vision for the PlayStation 5 on Bravia TVs, which unlocks a higher frame rate for users to take advantage of. If you're not familiar with what Dolby Vision is, I don't blame you. Dolby Vision is an HDR technology that revolutionizes your entertainment with breathtaking, realistic visuals across all of your devices. This comes straight from the Dolby website. Now, I'm not an, a TV expert, that's for sure, but this is a blurb from 
Dolby Vision that gives us a little more insight into what Dolby Vision does. Step into the character's shoes with this ultra vivid picture so close to reality it makes you forget you're looking at a screen. Optimized for every scene and every screen, this advanced high dynamic range technology gives you amazing color and contrast in consistent quality across all your entertainment. Discover even more detail in both dark and bright scenes for viewing experiences without compromise, just as creators intended. Now, when it comes to my opinion of HDR, I think it's overrated as you know what, but that's probably due to the fact that I don't have a TV that could take advantage of it to its fullest. If you want to have the best HDR, you need to have one of the best TVs. And that's the OLEDs, you got the LGs, you got the Sony X95, the list goes on and on. Let me know what you guys think of this secret Dolby Vision update. Do you guys have a Sony Bravia TV that could take advantage of this? What do you think of HDR in general? Let's talk about it. And finally, in the last bit of news, in the meat and potatoes story of the day, Greg Miller of Kind of Funny delays this week's podcast by four days because, of, according to his Twitter, there's a storm a-brewing for PlayStation, and this is the calm before the storm, so something big is happening. It looks like multiple things. This is what Greg Miller had to say on his Twitter. Man, looking like it might be very interesting week for PlayStation if even one of these three rumors I've heard is true. As such, we're gonna delay recording PlayStation I Love You XOXO until Thursday. Now, when it comes to gaming insiders, you gotta take everything with a grain of salt because as we know, 99% of the insiders and rumors when it comes to PlayStation are just simply not true. Just source. Excuse me? Who's your source, Eddie? I don't have a source per se, but I have a hunch. But when it comes to Greg Miller, this guy is up the totem pole when it comes to credibility, especially with PlayStation, with his track record and his history with PlayStation. He has a good relationship with them. And the fact that he's willing to delay his podcast for a couple of days just kind of tells you that they don't want to record a podcast when they know specifically something's going down this week. That's what makes me believe what he's saying. He said it if one of the three things that he's heard comes true, then it's going to be crazy. Now, imagine if two of those things becomes true. So what's the possibilities of what could be announced? Well, the first thing is the Spartacus reveal. Bloomberg put an article out last week that I did a video on that the reveal was coming soon, possibly this week. So that's number one. That's probably the most probable thing to happen this week. What is number two? Well, you could get the VR2 reveal. They could go more in depth with that. They just had GDC. They did some hands-on stuff with that. I don't know. I kind of put that a little bit lower. God of War Ragnarok. Lots of people trying to stir up rumors that this thing's getting delayed into 2023 based off of kind of PlayStation not talking about it. And they're just speculating that it's going to move into 2023. I put a tweet out today showing that on the PlayStation store is still listed for 2022. So it'd be nice for Sony to get out there and say, hey, we're doing a state of play for God of War Ragnarok. What else could happen? Well, they could do an announcement for a huge acquisition. And in my opinion, the next big acquisition needs to be some kind of a publisher, maybe in Japan, because there's a lot of the PlayStation Nation that's been questioning Sony's strategy with Japan and the relationship with devs out there. So it'd be nice to kind of show that they're committed to that by making a huge announcement and acquisition of a Japanese publisher. My bet would be Square Enix or Capcom. Both have really good relationships relationships with Sony, Square Enix especially, and I think that that would just blow the roof off if they made a massive announcement for one of those two as acquisitions. Can you imagine? It just would be insane. But yeah, that's my list of what I think might happen this week. Let me know what you guys would like to see this week. What do you think is possible or probable? What would you like to see? Let's talk about it. But anyway, that's it for today's edition of the Saltiest PlayStation News Report. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date with all things PlayStation and PlayStation 5. I hope you guys have a great day. We'll catch you on the next one. And as always, stay salty, my friends.